I'll repeat again, I think that that's a, a source of pride for our state of Rhode Island, the people in Rhode Island, to have a, a governor that's going to be in the cabinet of the President of the United States. And I, we're, we are re ready to uh, help the people of the state of Rhode Island through this pandemic, but also beyond that in terms of restoring our economy and, as you've said over and over again, get our students back into the schools uh, so that uh, you know, we uh, give them every opportunity uh, to get educated in a way that they need for their futures. As the sun sets on your time as lieutenant governor, what are some of the yeah. things that you're going to carry with you yeah. if you do become governor? So, Bill, that's a good question. So I was in my office late last night. I had met with the speaker and the Senate president uh, in, the, in the House, in the speaker's office, and I spent a few minutes down in the office reflecting about the work that we did as lieutenant governor, bringing municipalities together, fighting for our, uh, you know, for, for fair electric rates, working over the last year tirelessly to help our small businesses. So I can feel really good and I want to just say that our staff, I want to thank the, you know, the people who work with me in the other office, who all of them will be coming up to our, our governor's office in some capacity. But I think that we leave, uh, you know, uh, a real, we, we continue to work with our veterans. We continue to work uh, with our young people in terms of an entrepreneur challenge. So there's going to be a lot there that was there when I, when I showed up. But I think that we left a great deal of, uh, and we'll leave those plaques on the wall, the 39 cities and towns that I put up there when I, when I showed up. Did you speak to Governor Raimondo today? I haven't, but I did text her. And I, uh, I texted her early this morning. And I said, enjoy the moment, because I think it is an accomplishment. And, uh, and the governor texted me back that, uh, you know, the, to make sure that I, uh, I do a good job by the state. And she had confidence that I will. Do you feel like you have all the information from the Raimondo in this administration Job? Yes, I do. Uh, and, but that's, I think, that uh, we, the, uh, the time frame from the time that uh, the governor was, uh, you know, uh, nominated by the President of the United States uh, around January 8th. We've been working every single day and on budget issues and other things to get up to speed, working right directly with the health department. And we're putting our stamp on things early before I get into office, but we are, we're, we're, we're certainly ready. The people of Rhode Island should feel very comfortable that day one we'll have people in every department uh, running, running the departments, and then also in our office uh, we'll be making announcements over the next 24 hours of the people that will be working in our office, and I think that we've assembled some really strong people. And focusing on the things that I'm going to be focusing on, right, which is, which is small business issues, the economy for families, the, the equity and opportunity issues, the education issues will all be you know, very strongly um, represented in the, in the team that I'm putting together.